Hello my loves, it's Kasha Plannerista 101 and today we are planning and my social media planner which is a dashboard layout and we are planning for the week of March 8th through the 14th. I am going to be using one of the brand new sticker books, um, the colorful leopard. I am super excited to be able to play with that book. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to start off with covering those prompts, maybe, or I don't even know what to start with. But while I'm kind of flipping through the book and deciding, as you can see, I have no plan. I just wanted to say thank you to all of, the, all of you who are subscribed to my channel and all of you who are following me and supporting me on this journey so i'm truly truly grateful i'm gonna go ahead and start adding a few boxes here and there um this is where i put the schedule for the releases of the videos that are coming out so i usually do about four a week and it's around the weekend so that should be a little bit of fun And right now it is not even straight, so I gotta fix that. Let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, I have picked a little bit of a pastel -y color. So I picked peaches and greens and very, very, very like delicate colors. Okay, so I'm gonna overlap on these boxes just a little bit with these washi strips with quotes. I really like those. I don't know if I want to bring this black quote. I'll try it on and see how I feel about it. But I think it kind of distracts from the boxes. So I'm gonna remove that and maybe use something different. I can save that for another time as I do like this quote quite a bit. And it is time to go ahead and put some correction tape on that focus box and remove that pink from my planner as always. I think I'm going to take these big colorful patches of leopard and add them to each side of this focus box. I think they'll look great, so let's take a look. Yeah, I think that's pretty great. And then I can put a quote in the middle. That's usually my decorative piece for this planner. Everything else stays quite functional, and I just add a little bit of decorations here and there. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. And, and the stay present in all things because how true is that? And I want to see if there's like tiny boxes that I can put in for those prompts, but I don't think so. So I'm gonna add a couple little washi strips. This one says find a way not an excuse. And I think it's so beautiful, like I said. I wasn't sure how I'm going to like this book, but I do like Leopard and I think it's a lot of fun to be using those. So let's see how this one comes out. So I put another um, washi strip on top with a quote that says unlimited potential. And then right underneath it says put your heart into it. I think th these match pretty well and the colors go so beautifully together. I'm just looking for more boxes. I need another box for Thursday as I do have four planners that I film in every single week. Okay. 
Let's see. I think I'm gonna have um, some fun and maybe add some of these leopard details into it. But before I do it, I'm going to grab all of my colorful boxes, sticker books, because as you can see, they are extremely loved. And I think that I've been using it quite a bit and I want teal boxes. And that's one of my favorite colors. So I've been using it a lot. So it took three books to find that. And I didn't even have all of the boxes in one book. I had to go into another. So that's how life works. But I'm sure all of you guys have that same book in multiples, just like me. Okay, so I'm going to cover up all of these prompts. And I think this color matches pretty well. Not perfect, but well enough where it seems like it's very similar to the patches in the leopard. So that's what I'm going to do. And let's see. I can maybe... I don't know. Let's see. I'm looking for one more for like the schedule right here, but I couldn't find another one. So I'm putting this green. I will probably eventually change it and We'll see what happens, but for right now, this is what it's going to be. I'm going to add a, the, this little corner piece right in the middle of the page like so. Right in, in the middle of the top of the page, I should say. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove the line to make it a little bit more cohesive. So there we go. I love that little detail on how that looks. So I'm just going to play and kind of edit these details into different things. And I know you can see a little bit through that um, sticker, like of the prompt underneath, but I don't mind because when I write on top of that, that completely disappears. So I can go ahead and still leave those prompts underneath i just want to remove the lines so this doesn't show and i think it's so cool okay waiting out another line and adding that and i think that works pretty well and now I want to add a few of those decorative details to the other side. Okay, maybe I can do that and that's going to kind of give it a different look. And then I need to add some to the lower portion of the spread because it looks a little bit naked. Let me add that little piece to Thursday and see how that feels. And I might need one more. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And now we need to finish it because it feels they're not finished. So I want to add some spots throughout the planner to make sure that it looks 
finished so I'm gonna add a pink spot right there I'm gonna add a blue one in the Monday corner and then maybe one more like a smaller one on a Saturday and I think that's gonna make it look a lot better like so okay It is time to add a few more elements to the spread to finish it up and make it look polished. I'm gonna add the go where your dreams take you little one, little banner with uh, the gold foil on top. I think that fits this planner pretty well and the spread pretty well. I know it's kind of a jumble of things and different things, but um, those little corners that I placed in and those little details, they are colored and they pull like the slight, is the most slight color into them. So I don't mind really having it the way it is. Okay, I'm gonna add another quote. It says, you'll never regret being kind, and that's 100% true. I'm gonna go ahead and lo lower this beautiful thing, and then I'm gonna add another quote into that section, I think, and that will look pretty great. This is my to-do section, so if I cut it short, it won't be the end of the world, I hope. Okay, this is looking pretty great. I do need my little checklists for that. So I'm just going to write in. So the first section is videos to edit. The second section is my actual to-do list for all of my videos and pictures and so on. The, this section is for Instagram posts and this one is for my video publishing. And it just helps to have all of them in order and keep them in, on track. Okay, so I do need checklists for the IG and the video published. So I'm just gonna grab my colorful boxes and pick a couple of these maybe more faint colors because there's no exact match to that teal. The other teal is too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those. It's almost like a minty, and I think it works pretty well with the Think Happy Be Happy. So let's take a look, and maybe I can reverse them, possibly. Okay. And then cut the top, and there we go. So that's my checklist for my videos, and then my other side will be the IG posts and I think they'll be it. Okay, let me just cut that. That little knife is a lifesaver, I swear. Okay. What do you guys think about this one? It's quite different and it is quite unusual. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm popping it back into my planner and I hope everybody has a great week. See you soon for another plan with me. Bye!